I'm James Cebulski. The first four games of this playoff series have been intense, physical, and I expect nothing less in Game 5. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Grabbed along the board by Pareko. Moves it to Schmaltz. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Centering to the middle. And score! is a game of inches if the pass isn't on the tape if it's in your feet all of a sudden you're fumbling for it that gives the coverage time to defend you but this one it's right on the money and the goal is a result st louis has the game's first goal they look good these early minutes here what are they doing that you like here cheryl well, i love the mindset it's not sit back it's attack and you may be in someone else's barn and that's fine but you want to send a clear message that you're in this to play and they've done that at the onset of this period The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Offside the call. We'll get a reset. Still plenty of time left in this frame. St. Louis has the 1-0 lead. The Blues win it. Puck grab by Falk. Smart has trying to shake loose. Great save! Pennington's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Blues take it along the wing. Quick pass to Kairou. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Oh, splashes the leather with that glove. The Coyotes win the draw. Great poke check on the reach. Intercepted in the offensive end by Kairou. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. St. Louis has it. Kairou's got the puck along the wing and tries to make a diagonal pass to Kapanen. And that's poked away by Dumba. Taken along the wall by Kraus. Arizona's got it against the boards. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. St. Louis gets a hold of it. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Ingram. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. Scooped up along the wall by Sundquist. Pass back to the point. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the, the eyes of the tender, this is exactly what can happen. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Blaze won the draw center. Bringing the physicality tonight. Dumps it in. 
Arizona's looking to break out. Steps inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. Moves into the slot. as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Coyotes got off to a wonky start, but they seem to have found their footing here, Cheryl. Well, they certainly have. Now, they got behind the eight ball early here, James, but they're able to push their way back into this game now within one. Arizona's won the faceoff at center. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Arizona's got it in the own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the feed. Oh, and he misfires on that. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Across the line and on the attack. Passes out front, and that's intercepted. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Pucks it in deep, and they'll make a change. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Great reach with the poke check. Now he takes it over the line. Slides it diagonally to Torchenko. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. More than half the frame has been played here. Arizona's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Quick feed to Shen. Way too much congestion blocks that. That goes off a twig. And that's knocked away by Thomas. From the left side, they gain the zone. Feeds it down low. Puck scooped up by Schmaltz. And he takes the feed. Drills him. Moves it quickly over to Keller. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. There's a collision with some authority. To the front! Blocker saved by Ingram. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Kapanen's got it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Kairou. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. The Blues continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. Arizona's got possession here in their own end. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. Denies that opportunity. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Sit in deep and the forwards will go to the bench. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Slammed into the wall. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it over with pace to Cairo. Oh, and he airmailed that one. Well, he certainly did. Almost looked like he wanted to go far down and missed by a mile. The Blues have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities, and as a result, have the lead. And now it's grabbed by Scandella. Oh, a clutch save! Oh, wow, stops again! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. And he makes the save on that play. Oh, turns it aside once again. Moves it to Kraus. Sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. He's really turned it up a notch now. Here in the late goings of the period, the Blues lead it 2 1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Sunfist won a big draw on their own end. The Blues have it now. Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. And that goes off a stick. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. St. 
St. Louis wins the offensive zone draw, and they'll start with the puck. Arizona's moving it along the way. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded in closed space so fast and just taken down. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Up along the wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Just wide. Makes his presence known on the ice. Runs him hard against the boards. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? St. Louis will want to continue where they left off after the first period. They've got that one goal lead, but it's what they've been doing on the ice, getting shots through to the net, funneling everything and disguising the shots as well that's made them effective. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Wrist shot to the slot. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse where their blade and how they're gonna get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. St. Louis extends the lead to two as they make their way back to center ice. Is there a concern of complacency now when you've got that two goal lead? Well, I think the big thing is you've got a comfortable lead, but you can't get comfortable, if you know what I'm saying, James. Yeah. You've got to continue to attack. You can't sit back. You've got to continue to push and do the things that got you the lead in the first place. And he shuts the door again. Passes the puck over to Shen. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. Chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves it to the middle, and it's blocked. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And he lays him out with that collision. The Blues will play it in their own end. Pokes the puck away, and it's a quick pass to Zucker. There's the whistle as the play was offside. The Blues have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Arizona's won the draw in the neutral zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Picked up along the wall by Pareko. And now he moves it quickly to Hayes. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Taken by Dermott. Into the offensive zone. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Gunther. Jostled off the puck. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Letty. Handles the pass. Arizona's going on the attack as they gain the zone. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. The Blues have it against the wall. Slides the puck across to Kapanen. And now it's grabbed by Letty. And that puck leaves the zone. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Arizona's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Travis it to the crease. Monster saved by Bennington. Gains the zone along the right wall. Takes a shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Here they come on the attack. And that's blocked away. Oh, a save. He stopped it. Wow. Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. The Coyotes will play it from the defensive zone. Great stick work with the steal. Shot. Stopped by the goal. 
Alexander getting a piece of that one. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sends it in front, and that goes off a stick. The Blues have it behind the net. Passes over to Scandella. And they'll dump it in. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Ingram. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. And that one's turned aside. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Takes possession along the boards. Oh, and it's blocked. Another big stop. They are really putting on the heat in the ozone. has possession of it now. Throws it in. The Coyotes have it from their own end. Picked up along the boards by Valamaki. They gain the zone from the left side. He got all of that one. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Blues have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. The score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. The Blues still have a lot of time left in this game to even make this even more lopsided, but Cheryl, late here in the second, they are dominant. Well, it's pretty hard to believe that you start with the adrenaline running, you got the competitive juices flowing, and there is no lag in their play. It has been a consistent effort, and they simply have lit their opponent on fire. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Back to the point it goes. Good hit to puff him off the puck. And he takes a shot. Oh! Waffles for dinner with that stop. Slides it up front. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Feeds the puck to Bushnevich. Grabs it in his own end. Takes the pass. Quick feed to Gunther. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Grabbed along the board by German. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Quick shot! Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the score! Oh, oh, part of the net and he just whistles one by the glove hand. The Coyotes have finally shown a counterattack, and let's see if they can build on this now. One goal can change the psyche in a game. You can see them pressing as they head into the third period. The Blues win the faceoff. From the neutral zone now. And that's deflected. And he takes the pass. Great on ice vision to bat that down. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Neighbors gains the zone. Deflects it away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Denied by the goaltender. Denies him again made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Across the line, down the left wall. Slides the puck across to Boyd. Taken along the wall by Bukestad. Quick stop by Bennington. And 
and he takes the dish. Moves the puck. Shoot it. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Blues continue to lead in this third period, but the question is for how long, James? I mean, this has been a back-and-forth, action-packed game of offense. I don't know. I wouldn't like to play in this game because I was all defense, and there's none of it tonight. Sends it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Michelli. And lowers the boot time here. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Oh, answers back with the stop on the one-timer. Lots of time left in this period. Lots of offense here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. St. Louis goes to work in the offensive zone. Trying to shake the defender. He's in the clear. Oh, and it's poked away. Wow. I love this play, James. It shows confidence. And he gets out the top of his crease, and he assumes the risk with that poke check. He was totally locked in on that play. Arizona's got the puck against the half wall. and it just took me off guard. From the open ice, they the line. Yes. Great read to break up the play. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Letty's taking it from his own end. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Here they come on the attack. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. Gunther's got it against the boards. And that's blocked in traffic. Comes up with a monster save in front. And another save. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Zucker's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice. And it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Handles the puck. And that pass is redirected. Through center along the wing. Fires it. The blocker saved by Ingram. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, right, it's a bone crusher. Pass into the pass. Gotta be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they gotta win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Scores! It's in the So two distinct things here. If you kick or make that move, the forward motion of your foot towards the net, it will be a no goal. But if it's redirected, that's fine. There's that big thing that you don't want to hurt the messenger while the official's coming out on the ice. And this is going to be a confirmed call. It's going to stand on the ice. This is a disallowed goal. And a 
off to the draw and center. They've got a hold of the puck. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. Battle along the wall. And the puck's booted away. Oh, that battle lands as the puck gets loose. Gives them nothing in front. Puck moved over to Fulton. Strong defensive effort. St. Louis gains the zone. The Coyotes gain possession in their own end. They go on the attack through center. Puts it on net. Glove save made by Bennington. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Keller's looking to get his team back in this matchup, guys. His zone ability is a part of his game he can use to complete that objective. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. The Blues looking against the half wall. Now a quick pass to Scandella. Uh -huh. Nice block. Great shot from the slot. Breaks it up with the coach check. Here we go. Look at this. They are really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. Here's a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Moves it quickly over to play. Sends it over in front. And that's blocked in front. Michelli's lugging the puck. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. From the left side, takes it at center. Jersey's got it in the defensive end. Slides it quickly to Keller. Into the attacking area from the left side. Good hit on the play. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Looks to get the puck over to Hayes. Quick feed to Stetcher. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Pareko. Carries it across the line. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Denies him with the pad. He got all of that hit. St. Louis gets their number one line out there, and I've been really impressed. Oh, big hit on the play, and look at this. He's on his own pitch. Oh, he's not going to live this one down for a while, James. You know that he's going to get lost for a bit because he's in the laps of his teammates. I think he's okay, just a slightly bruised ego. has shown no signs of slowing down. They have put lots late in this third period. The Blues win the draw here in their own end. And he takes the feed. There's a collision. There's a chance. Scores! Off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. Late goings of this period. St. Louis has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Shot! Stones up with the blocker. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Up, up, up. A shot in here. Pennington's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Sunfist gained possession and his great work inside the faceoff circle pays off again. The pass to Suter. The Blues gain control of the puck. 
Well, if you want to be out there at the end of the game, you've got to make smart decisions with the puck, and that's one right there. Just electing to put the puck in deep, and Gabe plays safe. Great hits up play with the stick by Falk. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Falk stick handling in his own zone. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Arizona's done a really good job of buying into the defensive structure plan that the coaches have installed. And this is critical in playoff hockey. You want to make sure you protect your tender and you stay in the middle of the ice. A critical face-off lose here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. And off the draw, they win possession. Feeds the puck over to Bushnevich. A shot in it. He scores! And there's the hat-trick three as the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team. But he's been dominated, playing really confident all night long. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James. And that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice. And hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Cuts to the paint. Lets the wrister fly. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Boyd's got the puck. St. Louis is trying to protect the lead here late in this third period after dominating in the offensive departments tonight. It is all over! Well, Cheryl, here we go. 3-2 series now, and you got to say that the momentum has shifted despite trailing. James, it's amazing what belief can do, and I do believe that it has switched momentum in their favor right now. They staved off elimination, so now you have a confident group that knows that they can win, and they're just looking at it game by game right now. Well, hopefully you're just as excited as we are to call the next postseason game down the road, and we will see you then. From all of us here at EA Sports, thanks for joining us.